lives. Warning, bot detected on the battlefield. Well, what can I say about Tech War's global conflict? After spending nearly five minutes on a load screen, load screen footage has been reduced for your sanity. And even before that, on my first attempt to play this Mech Warrior Mech Commander clone, in which my first attempt led to a 10 minute load screen and a crashed desktop. I was finally able to sit down and play, but to my dismay, the controls are extremely clunky and awkward. The connection to the servers were subpar at best for a game that depends on a stable connection in order to play effectively. And just a note, I'm on a 1 gigabit per second synchronous fiber connection, so my connection is not an issue. I was compensated for this review with a code that was given to me for a premium package in the game of which when redeemed I got absolutely nothing to quote Willy Wonka it's all there black and white clear as crystal you get nothing you lose good day sir the game itself is a solid concept but the execution is something to be desired at one point, this game was actually for sale on Steam. I think it was like 10 bucks. Until people trashed it like there was no tomorrow. And they decided to make it free to play and add mobile like cash shop packages into the game. Making it a complete pay to win title. And not to mention, the game was built atop the Unity engine. And for a Unity engine title, it's extremely unoptimized and the game's been out for over six months it reminds me of something done as an indie jam game but I've seen more refined and optimized games come from an indie jam as for their support it's pretty much non-existent when I asked about a fix for the constant loading I was having problems with no response in over 24 hours in good conscience, I cannot recommend this game in its current state. Not without a change in the control schemes, losing the pay to win structure, and a massive improvement to the servers, as well as the connections to the servers. This game is sentenced to death by me, the Grim Reaper, and is the sufferer in all eternity within the pits of gaming hell. I give this game a solid 2 out of 10. So, to add to this, since my review is a little short, 
for a game that has been released originally as a pay to win then released free to play yes I realize I just said pay to win because literally when it was for sale on the Steam store it's exactly what it was and it's still exactly what it is now even though it's free to play due to the cash shop I'm just gonna say this to the developers when you ask someone to review your game and the compensation is a premium package redemption code make sure your redemption system works properly otherwise any further titles that you put out whether they be reviewed by me which in all honesty I hope you don't pick me to review any more of your products um, because as I said before I've seen games come out of indie jams that were way better than this um, please don't pick me to review one of your products again you think this review is bad I'll just be even more crucial than I was on this one so now I'm gonna leave you with about five minutes of gameplay if you don't want to watch the rest of the gameplay I completely understand Playing the game was as horrifying as watching it. You've been warned. <laughs> 